Hey, this is Jody with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Got a really quick TIG welding project here. It's just putting gussets on the end of this piece that's been machined out of a chunk of steel. They're just carbon steel gussets, mild steel, nothing special. And I'm using this little third hand tool, this, this thing that's got a little bit of uh, aluminum bronze on three points to transfer the ground better. And this thing I pulled out of a scrap bin, even though it's ugly as, as as heck, uh, it works like a top. So that's the thing. You don't they don't have to look pretty. You can't really mess them up making them. And uh, they're really, really handy. Especially when you know it take too much time to put a clamp on this thing. With this table now I've got a clamping you know system. I can clamp down almost anything. But most people if you're just gonna tack something like this on a tabletop, you just need to hold it for just a second to get a tack on it. Now I was doing this a while back. This is kind of like a tool steel and you see the spark that comes off where the uh, sharpened tip of the of the third hand was. And I, that's not good. That'll put an arc mark on something. This again was heat treatable steel and wound up leaving an arc mark and so I thought that's not cool so I'm gonna fix that. So this particular little welder's finger I was using uh, I decided to put some aluminum bronze on the tip. It's a little bit different than silicon bronze. Welds kind of the same. Welds better on AC because of all the aluminum in it and the deal issues with aluminum oxide and everything. So I swapped the machine over to, to alternating current, just like I would weld aluminum, and just started building up a little blob of aluminum bronze filler metal on this thing because aluminum bronze is much better conductor than steel and won't spark. So that's all I did. And then I put some wrapped some braided uh, copper wire on the base so that it, it picks up a good ground. And the reason I did that, I had like 20 or 30 of these little parts to do. And so, that, you know, it was worth stopping for a minute and doing that so I'd make sure not to get any arc strikes or anything. And I've been using it since. So I did the same thing on this one. I put some aluminum bronze on it, and it works It works great. just looks bad. So first, let's go ahead and weld this little gusset out. I'll get a tack weld on it. I'm using 332nd, 2% lanthanated electrode and just a 1 16th ER70S2 filler wire because there's not much point in using anything else for this. I'm using about 15 CFH on the Argon. Probably between 100, well probably around 100 amps actually. I'm using a foot pedal so I turned it up to probably you know 130 or so and I'm not using quite the whole foot pedal so I like to turn my, my machine up to a point that I know I have a little bit of extra gas but I don't like to turn it all the way and just leave it all the way open for everything. It gives me a little bit more control if I just have a little bit extra. So nothing special, nothing to write home about here. Just uh, just getting a bead on it. There's no particular requirement for size of weld. Just fillet weld symbol. And we'll get another another angle of another shot here. And we'll, we'll also get another look at it before we move on to the making of the, the third hand thing there. You can see I'm keeping the tip of that wire kind of close, keeping it shielded with argon. That keeps the oxides out of the puddle. Now for making the third hand, I just grabbed some stuff that was laying around. Here's a piece of something that was going to be something else that was kind of knurled. A couple of pieces of round stock. This is a, was going to be a special tool of some kind and got scrapped out. But it's got a little hook on it already that was bent and then machined flat. So I thought, well, that'll save a little bit of time. I want to bend a little thing on it anyway. Here's a, here's a third hand just made out of a piece of scrap round stock. Here's one. Looks kind of cool. Nice, nicely, uh, nicely done. I pulled these off pictures of my, my welding forum, which is at forum.weldingtipsandtricks.com. And these are really cool. They almost look like bugs. Somebody did a really good job on these. And this is taking it to the next level. Solid copper, machined and threaded and everything. So this looks like crap. Still works. All right, so let's sit into making one. I'm going to use some silicon bronze here. I happen to have a few pieces of that laying around. And first thing, I want to make sure that I got uh, sharpened, pointed tips like this to pick up the ground off the table. So first thing I'm going to do is build those up with a little silicon bronze. And I laid it on a, a big block of aluminum to kind of support the molten silicon bronze as I build it out like this so it won't just fall in my shoe and plus it speeds it up and keeps it cool. It gets really watery really quick. I mean you can't just you can't just weld and weld and weld 
building up and shaping things, it'll just it'll sag and run and everything. That's that's another reason for the we're doing it on top of an aluminum block, and it won't stick to aluminum. So I'm just building up a little bit more there and making sure I get enough on it to where I can taper them down with a grinder or a sander, whatever I wind up doing. And now for the uh, the part that's going to hold whatever I want to hold on it, and I happen to get an idea here because of the shape of this thing, I thought, I wonder what it would look like if I added a whole lot of silicon bronze on here and kind of shaped it like a bird skull, like going for the look of a vulture or something like that. Because those, some of those third hands kind of look almost like a bug or a bird or something. So that's what I did. Just started adding some rod, running some beads, and then extending it on out. Kind of seeing how it was going to run first, let it cool for just a minute. And then I'll start building out the, the beak kind of same way I did the, the legs. Just get a little base going, make sure I've got enough to, to add to, and then just leave the wire in the puddle and just kind of pull it on out there. And then let that cool for just a second, light back up, and just start building up, trying to shape it. Now, I'm no artist, but I have played around a little bit with like uh, sculpting like this with silicon bronze and other metals, making little figurines and things like that. It's, it's kind of fun. I, mean, I don't have that much time to mess with it too much, and I, I don't have an artist's brain or, or eye or soul. I'm more a practical guy. But today I decided to spend a little time and try to make something look like a bird skull. So, so far, not at all. Looks more like a, you know, some type of a alien or something like that so far. But just hang around. We'll, we'll get closer here in just a minute. I'll speed the footage up here because it, it obviously takes a long time to, to build up something to, to, to have any shape or look to it. So, you get an idea, though, of how, how it works. You just kind of start placing metal, getting on and getting off of it, putting... Putting, putting metal where it belongs and it's kind of like the uh, saying about you know somebody somebody that was carving a bear they said all you got to do is get rid of all the wood that doesn't look like a bear so it's just as backwards here I'm saying you're not carving you're just adding so we're getting close you can see it's at least somewhat resembling but it's so hot that I'm gonna have to take it over cool it off and and wire brush it off so it wells a little bit better you get the general idea on on how it's adding and uh, just adding silicon bronze to that to that thing and so we'll go ahead and put it put the rest of it together get these legs welded on to that little mid span thing there and then I cut it cut it on a saw and then I'm going to get a tack weld I I trim the uh, that big round piece didn't need quite that much weight really all you need with a third hand like this is you need some weight and you need a kind of a a snout to hold the part down and two legs. It needs to have three points on it. With three points you can't mess it up. Now see that looks a little bit like a bird skull. No? Don't think so? <laughs> okay, well we can still work on it some. How about now? Come on. Alright, so I'll put this up here and get a tack weld on that. Or two. Like I said before, you can't mess them up. I don't think I've ever ever seen one or made one that didn't work just fine. So you can see that's that's kind of doing what it's supposed to do and uh, it will hold a part down. But I'm not really crazy about the way that the legs are. It seems to be okay, especially if I was doing something high like this, it would be fine. But that's probably typically not the case. So I want to get a little bit better angle, kind of where the, where the, the, the sharpened points on it that's had the silicon bronze on them maybe you know come off the table at a little bit different angle we'll see but you can see it's holding this is the, the kind of stuff that, that it's good for just holding a little odd shape part down just until you can get a tack on it and you can see I've built up a little bit more and shaped it a little bit more getting closer I really like the looks of these and so I figured I'd like to bend the legs so I took it over to the little uh, this little uh, press brake kit that goes on the Harbor Freight press, and with you know very little effort, decided to get a nice even bend in both of them, and that was that. That little thing's handy. There's, it's a kit. I got it from SwagOffRoad.com, and it uh, you put it together and do all the welding yourself. Of course, you have to have a press, 
And now it's a little bit better, right? I've got it standing on a on a thing there. It almost looks like a almost looks like a, a a bird of some kind holding an odd shape, really high. And that's the kind of thing it's really good for holding. This is about as odd a shape as I could think of. I'm holding a little piece of copper tubing on a ball bearing, like that, and it's it's the ball bearing slick and it's holding it really well. Now, a little uh, trivia about ball bearings: a lot of people think they're just perfectly round, but they actually have a face and a butt. That's the face. And that's the butt. See the butt? Oh, ho, ho. that was bad, wasn't it? Well, hey, I'd like to invite you again to go check out my forum at forum.weldingtipsandtricks.com. There's a lot of welding knowledge over there, a lot of sharp people, and it's a friendly bunch. We'll see you next week.